Hi, this is Vintage Recording Drums. Drum Tuning Part 1 <laughs> What's up guys, it's Dan here from Shitta. Yes, that's right, the studio of hardware, informative tutorials and recording hacks of course. And we're here in the studio with Dan. My other partner in crime. How you doing Dan, you alright? And we've also got Dave, our drummer. <laughs> nice to meet you Dave. And we're going to be doing some... Drum tuning. Drum tuning, excellent. Okay, so I'm going to take it and leave you guys to show us what to do. The easiest way to tune the drum couple logos is with a drum dial because um, unless you can actually unless you want to tune it by pitch which can be done but you have to shoot um, a frequency into the room with a note tune it tighten it so that's just a simple bit of hardware that you can buy from any music store yeah you can buy it from any music store you're just testing the tension of the skin next to the lug you place it next to the lug right that's on 70 that's on just over 70 that's on 70, that's on 70, yeah. The bass is really even. Right, if we actually have a listen, here to the drum. You can hear it near the lugs, because all the note comes from the rim. So generally, I don't like the note as much, so I'll try to mic the centre of the skin, because that's what I obviously want to capture. You can also deaden the skins by putting moon gel on, but we'll check the bottom first. What we do is we go around the bottom. As a rule of thumb, you want to length shorten the note, you tighten the bottom up, tighten the top. Well, this is 75. You can take my word for it because I can't show you the front. So if we um, listen to it, listen to the length of the note. If as a rule of thumb, if that was actually. Um, Loosened on the bottom, so it's a couple. Hear the note, lengthen. So that need reaching. Yeah, that you don't want it that long, not for what we're doing. So, all firm, tighten the boat back up. Think for it. So this is tuning basically for a recording. Yeah, this is for recording. So this isn't if you're doing a live stage or. No, this is, this for is purely for recording. This is the what sound you want to capture. Excellent. So it's about, basically about that length. So that's a lot shorter. A lot shorter. A lot shorter. Yeah. You can also use moon gel. Moon gel. What's that then, Dan? Basically, it just mutes the top of the drum from your drum hardware shop. So it's just like a little sticky bit of plastic -y Ye Years ago we used to just use a bit of gaffer tape. But, <laughs> so this is a bit more professional. <laughs> Basically we've already had a whiz around the kit, we've done them all. In regards to a snare drum, it's the only drum on the kit you don't have to have equal tension. If you want to lie the note, you can just loosen off a couple of lugs. We've so the lugs are the little pins on the end just for yep. the people out there. Yep. They're the little ones that use a drum key. Basically. This has got three lots of moon gel on it because he wants it really dead. Really, it's because he wants the articulation between the notes when he's. Yeah. He wants to get a nice. Trans to the bass drum. I've put this in position. I've actually loosened his head and done it up as loose as I can get it without no ripples in. I usually undo the head, I do it finger tight, and then I might just gently nip it with a key. So I don't want too much muffle So he's removing the pillar from the bass drum. Right. Well, moving it about a bit. <laughs> right, let's set the kit up and get ready to mic it. Great, so we've done the tuning. Okay, so we're going to see Dave the drummer now. He's going to show us a little demonstration of all the nicely tuned drums that him and Dan have done. Okay, so take it away Dave when you're ready. Thank you Dave for that, thank you Dan for that brilliant Cheers, tutorial, we hope you all enjoyed the tutorial, we'll, uh, if you want to see more content, content and that on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like us all and then you can see more of this and everything else, see you soon, Ciao.
Hey guys, thanks for watching that little tutorial. We hope it helped you out there. Because I sure learned a thing or two from Dan himself and me. Shit's half an hour.